In the northwest of Scotland, there's a mountain that's visited by over a hundred thousand people a year, but hardly any of them make it to the top of the mountain. In this video, I'm going to show you what they're missing and hopefully reach the summit of the mountain. Right, hello. Today I am going to be going up a hill and it's probably one of the most, well, mountains actually, I can see it behind the camera, probably the, one of the most visited mountains in the UK, certainly in this area and in Scotland, but hardly anybody goes to the summit. So yeah, let's get packed up and get going and I'll probably report a, bu up a, a bit further up because it's going to be really busy. I don't really like speaking in front of the camera, in fact there's loads of folk kind of looking at me now thinking what the hell is he doing? So. Yeah, let's go up this mountain and I'll explain why it's the most visited mountain that the top has hardly ever gone to, if that makes sense. Right, let's go, I'll report back in a wee while. What a wonderful start to this walk. You rise quite quickly above the sea, look at that, there's a rainbow down there, fantastic. Well, wait till you see the cliffs that I'm going to be going round and up shortly. Wow, oh, this is spectacular. Look at this, almost at the cliffs. You can see the sea out to my left and the mountain to my right. I'll spin you around in just a minute and show you what I mean about these cliffs. Oh, right, look at this. Wow. I'm hoping that the camera's getting all these cliffs in because it's uh, I've, had to, I've had to open it right up to get the widest angle and I'm hoping to get to the top of that these cliffs and anywhere else in the world that would be the star of the show but it's not and the reason that that's not the star of the show and also the reason 100,000 people are estimated to come to this hill but not go up there is something over that way and I'll spin you around and let you see what that is in just a second Ooh, and that there whew, is the reason so many people come to this magnificent mountain and they come in to visit the old man of store and I can understand why there's a hundred thousand people come to visit it's absolutely spectacular if memory serves me right this whole feature in the cliffs and all these rock formations were caused by a massive landslip many many moons ago but yeah, what a place. So anyway, I'm not. I'm gonna go wander on past the old man and get away from the maddening crowds. And I'm heading up to the, well, beyond it to the left, and then I have to head quite a far along to to actually get away up past these cliffs to get to the summit of the the hill, which is called the Store. Which I think again, I should have researched this. Um, is the highest point on the Trotternish Ridge. But the reason I haven't been able to do too much research is I arrived not too long ago and it's getting late. It is oh, coming up for three and sunsets at 4.30. So the next thing I need to watch is just um, not getting caught out in the dark. I do have my head torch and what have you, but anyway, let's go and see if I can get to the top before it gets dark. <laughs> So when I headed through past all these rocky formations, which is known as the Sanctuary, and at the heart of the Sanctuary lies the Old Man, it really is a fantastic area. And I should mention that this is in the Trotternish Peninsula on the Isle of Skye, if you hadn't already guessed that. Anyway, the weather was pretty changeable, and there was a strong wind blowing in some showers, but that didn't take away from the magnificence of the place and I was soon headed to a spot that many landscape photographers will know well. Oh right, as you can probably see that's the famous, <laughs> this is where all the photographers come to take their picture of the old man, it's a more of a sunrise location. Just thought I'd show you that, it's there, now I'm going off the beaten track, oh the camera's going to fall, oh. Did you save the camera? Woo. So whilst I save the camera, here's some stock footage of some drone shots of the sanctuary. Not taken by myself, but from Shutterstock. 
just thought you'd, I'd show you the aerial perspective of this wonderful, wonderful place. And as I said, most of the people that come to the hill will get as far as this and not any further, but that's to their detriment because if you just go a wee bit further and head for the summit, you're in for a real treat as you're about to find out. Right, ah, right I think I saved the camera. Oh, that was heart and mouth stuff there. I mean, that was the famous shot. I'm now coming off the beaten track, heading around here where I've been before, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. Time's marching on, you know that? Oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. I'm going to give it a bash anyway, head along here, and I'll take a judgment call in a wee while. Right, let's go. Right, I've just come on a wee bit further, and I thought I'd just stop and show you where I am. Look at this. By me, isn't that lovely? And this big quarry down here. And that's where we nearly took a wrong turning many moons ago, or last year when we did the Sky Trail. I almost came across those cliffs there. So, anyway, we're going to be heading up this path here, then up the, uh, the skyline, hopefully to get to the top of the store. Right, I'll report back in a wee while. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I was really hoping to show you what I couldn't show you last year. Stretching out behind me here, you've got to use your imagination, <laughs> is the Trotternish Ridge, which is fantastic. And unfortunately, when we did it on the, on the Sky Trail, it was a bit like this. Uh, the top was in cloud and it was blown a hooli. And I was kind of hoping today that I'd be able to come up here and just have a look right along without there being any cloud, but it's... Um, it's swirling around, as you can see, behind me, and I don't think it's going to lift. Anyway, that sun's getting lower in the sky, it is... Yeah, it's getting on a bit, so... Yeah, I need to get to the top, because that wind's picking up as well. I hope the, hope the weather isn't closing in, so... Let's get up safely and see if I can get up here before sunset. Ah... Hey! Tell you what, the sun's almost coming out and it's raining at the same time, very lightly. Here we are at the summit. And this is the summit of the store. I don't know if that if you can pick up the <laughs> it's perfect timing with the sun and it's 719 metres high. This looks a wee bit like the old man of store, isn't it? But isn't it amazing how many people will have visited the old man? Oh there's a fog bow here. Let me see if we can turn you around. Oh, quickly, quickly. Oh, it's Go gone on, down. <laughs> I don't know if the camera picked it up or not, but there was a fog bow behind me, I might come back. Don't know if the, the lens is wide enough to capture it. But anyway, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, it's amazing how many people will go down to the, uh, the old man's store and, and not come all the way up to the store. It's a fantastic wee walk, actually. The uh, quarry come around there, big steep cliffs dropping down it. And this side, it's a bit like Ben Nevis. This side of the hill's very grassy and slopes off. And we know another side, those cliffs were just pretty sheer, dropping straight down to the old man's store, so it's not over yet though. That sun is dipping quite low, it's uh, 30 minutes now till the sun goes down. And I might head down and make a circuit of this, because I think I've still got a wee bit of light. Oh, there's the sun, fantastic. Oh, there's the fog bow. I'm really, really hoping that you can pick that up in the camera. Beautiful, absolutely fabulous. Let me take a wee picture of it, actually. Oh, I'm getting a view here, oh, it's all happening, it's all kicking off. Clouds starting to drop a wee bit. Might get a broken spectre if I go over there, if it stays like this. Absolutely brilliant. Wow. Right. I'm gonna head over here and see if I can, uh, see if I can get my broken for you and my glories. I'll take you over. No doubt the sun will disappear by the time I do that, so. Right, I've come. I'm right close to the edge here, right in the top of the cliff, so I don't wanna go any further, but look at this. Can't see my fog bow anymore because the sun's going away, but that's the side of the cliff. You can see the old man's store in the middle of the picture there. And just looking right down, oh my god, this is... <laughs> I'm not getting any closer. You can see right down all those rock, to those rock formations I was on earlier, and then you can see where I'm going to be dropping down. Way down this, um, this slope down here. It's a bit uh, blown out there. Way down there, but look at this, isn't it fabulous? So with the sun starting to set out to the west, I started my descent down the ridge. And my god, the views from here were 
just as impressive as the views on the way up. Another fog blow up there, just about. <laughs> wow, what a descent! <laughs> Look at that! Look at this! Let me spin you around. Look at that view, there's the cliffs have been up there. And then uh, you can see down a unique perspective of the old man. Wow, what a place! Hopefully, you can hear this okay. <laughs> Right, the light's starting to fade a bit more now, it's not picked up on the camera, but yeah, I'll stop and take a few more photos and then try and find my route down. I'm not sure if you'll still be able to hear me, but wow, look at this, hopefully you can pick it out, you can see all the, the old man is star, the clouds coming and going, there's a few showers still kicking about, and I can see the sun's just about hitting the horizon now, and I've still got a fair bit to go, but I just can't stop. Uh, can't stop myself stopping to take pictures because look at this landscape. I've never seen it from this uh, perspective This has got to be one of my finest Well, I can highly recommend it. it it's it's right up there for views and it's um, Yeah, as I said, it's, it's a walk that a lot of people won't do or maybe don't know about I don't know But yeah, thoroughly thoroughly recommended. I need to shop and get down here So I need to start heading this way. Apparently there's a gully with a stream I need to find so let's go Oh yeah. Oh, that's some drop down to my left. I wouldn't want to slip here, so I'm going to go down this way. Right, as you can probably <laughs> see, you can see the running water behind me. And down, down the gully, I have found the gully. There's a path here. I does say it's steep. I'm glad that I didn't have to find that in the dark. Although it's, I don't know if the camera's picking up, picking up how dark it's getting. It's probably not. So I've just got it on the auto settings at the moment. But anyway, head down here and then I need to go and try and get the road. So once I'm down here, I'm feeling pretty safe. But yeah, what a walk. I'm going to put the camera away now and I'll um, finish up in the van um, in a wee while. It's just that I, I don't want to stop now because I'd rather just get onto the road whilst it's, there's still enough light without me having to get my head torch out. Um, it's worthwhile saying as well, actually, I've got three head torches with me, <laughs> just in case uh, at this time of year, uh, especially when I'm, you're on a route you don't know that well. So I can see where I'm going now. So I'll report back at the van and uh, give you an update and basically a synopsis of what I've thought of this wonderful walk. Right, let's go. Oh, glad to be back. So I got back to the van just in time. There was just enough ambient light for me to get along the road without getting the head torch out. So yeah, I timed it just right. Any longer and the head torch would have been on for that walk along the road. You can see I'm back in the camper van. Oh, I've got my hat on and my, and my uh, duvet jacket because I nipped outside. I was hoping to get some astro photography done looking back to where I'd been. <laughs> but unfortunately, the clouds down over the Trotternish Ridge, there's a few stars about, but nothing. Yeah, the, the photographs were pretty rubbish, to be honest with you. I'll maybe stick some up now to show you how rubbish they were. But anyway, um, yeah, I got back down after I came down, I think the last time you saw me, I was in the gully. I came back down the gully and it was a really boggy walk um, from the base of the cliffs back to the road, unfortunately. But uh, apart from that, it was a fantastic, fantastic walk. It's it's not, um, I mean, it wasn't a big day. I mean, as I said, I, I, I set off probably about two-ish and got back about the back of five and that was with all the stops so it's it's well worth a half day and if you are an experienced hill walker and you're coming up to see the old man of store just just do it that descent i think the descent was actually better than the ascent the views back down over that all those rock formations um round about the old man of store looking down on them was just it was fabulous, and to get that uh, wee clearing at the top to get the fog bow. And I did get my broken, I just didn't get the camera out in, <laughs> in time to see it. So I just can't believe more folk haven't really, don't really rave about this hill because it, it was fantastic. What a great, great walk. So there you go, that's um, that's the store. Uh, a hill that's visited by about 100,000 people <laughs> every year to go round and up to the old man's store. And if you just add on an hour or two, you can get up and... Uh, up and over the top and back down again and it's well well worth it and 
even today when I didn't get far flung views, you've you've still got if you come on a good day I suspect you get views out to the outer Hebrides and then back in towards the red and the black cooling. So it's got a lot going for it. I'll certainly be back up there at some point. Anyway, I'm just chilling in the van now. The forecast for tomorrow is pretty grim. <laughs> it's grim. Um you know, gale force winds in the tops and torrential rain until about mid afternoon. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do a bit of research now to see if I can find something to do tomorrow. But anyway, I'm going to stop yapping on now. As always, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. And I'll maybe see you next week back in Sky. Who knows? Or maybe not. I might just go home tomorrow. But anyway, right. We'll see you later.